I'm for tutorial for tutorial.com today I'm going to discuss over the CS fallback circuit switch fallback uh, LT is the packet only network and handle packet only data traffic but if you is registered on LT and service user make a CS call yeah you has to receive an empty CS call then what will be happen uh, see, uh, circuit is fallback uh, which means uh, that when UE need to make uh, yeah, receive a call it is moved to 3GPP technology like 2G or 3G this mechanism is used if the IMS network is not available yeah you is not able to do a voltage call for the some reason some reason means uh, IMS registration is failed because of that uh, U is not able to do the vertical so it will move to the legacy network yeah CS fallback will happen <coughs> so if uh, uh, LT is only for the PS call but if support LT have the support of MS call then it will work as a volte and uh, if LT have not a support of IMS so it will uh, for the uh, CS call for the MOA MT it will uh, fall back CS fallback will be used so in order to be able to do cs fallback uh, one need to first uh, attach the network in a special way in a special way that means uh, it's called a combined eps mc attach combined eps mc attach so what is the combined eps mc attach in UMT, in umts we had a terminology called combined registration it means the U.S. simultaneously yeah, parallelly perform the registration for the CS network and PS network in UMTS and in LT is a basically for packet only is LT only for the packet only so what is the purpose of this combined attach combined attach means that you perform the registration for the LT network and non LT network non LT network means WCDMA yeah, GSM so why do we need this kind of registration for two different network so it is because of CS fallback idea of combined attach is to perform the attach process for LT and legacy network parallelly so in attach request contain one message is EPS attach type it is a combined EPS MC attach is there so actually <coughs> CS fallback U is uh, doing the PS U is registered with the uh, LT network, but when it's fall back to the legacy network during the MO yeah empty call, so because of that it's combined attach for the, also it attach for the CS fall back yeah, legacy network. So both attach will be both uh, registration will be happen uh, parallelly simultaneously. So now we go to call flow of CS fall back is first DL information uh, DL information transfer message actually it's come from the MSE yeah UMTS network before uh, this is a created DL data notification message and forward to MME if suppose that <coughs> any paging message is come here any data need to be transfer data need to be sent so deal data notification is come from the UNTS network to MME. MME will send a paging message. So we'll send the paging message. This is type of the paging message, which uh, it, it, it will come to the UE for this type of the uh, identity, this type of the parameter. It can domain identical to PS. Then it is for the service request. If UE identity equal to MC and CN domain identical to PS then it is for the attach request if you identity equal to MC attach or non EPS services and CN domain identical to CS then this paging message is for the CS call so it will send the extended service request message so in paging message these all the this type of the identity will be available if first if are you identical to STMC and PS and you see and domain identical to PS then service request message will be sent service request will send if you identical to MC and CN domain identical to PS then attach request will send if the you identical to MC attach for the non EPS services also and CN domain identical to CS then it will send the standard service request message after getting you this value it will see here MC attach and CN domain identical to CS 
send domain identity to CS. That means you will read this message and send the extended service request message, which contain the information about the mobile terminating CS fallback. So this message is for the CS fallback. So this extended service is message, extended service request message sent to the MME, but UE is in idle mode. So for the sending extended service request message, first you will attach to the LT network. For the attach, it will send RH RAR RSC connection request. Say send receive the RSC connection setup. Send the RSC connection setup complete plus extended service request message to the. It will send to the. Inode will and inode will forward extended service request message to MME with initial UE message. And after receiving the extended service request message and read the all the information which is available in extended service request message, like uh, uh, it will read the service type, which type of service type is need. So it will read the mobile terminating sys fall back. So MME, MME will MME will add one indicator cs fallback indicator in initial contact setup request message this cs fallback indicator which contain the information about the cs fallback required cs fallback high priority and it will send to the e node v this is enumerated so zero and one this type of information will send to the e node v e node v read the initial contact setup request message and see there is a cs fallback so e node v will, will and also you will see there is a no capability information in initial contact setup request message there is no capability information so first in node will verify that uh, know that ue capability information so it will send the capability inquiry to the ue and receive the capability information of ue from you uh, uh, from the ue it will receive the capability information after that you send the rsa connection Release message in capability information. You e node v know that which network uh, all type of the capability like uh, you is supporting G run U run a capability the CS fallback. These all the information are available in capability information. So you e node v read these all the capability and after that it send the RSC connection release. If all the capability is valid, then send the RSC connection release redirect to UMTS network. 10838 and after that uh, after receiving the rsa connection release uh, direction then you come to the um test network and uh, start to read the all the sim information in umts like sim 1 sim 5 sim 7 sim 90 this sim 90 contain these all the information of lt network you is now in umts and it will read the lt network information in sim 90 after reading these all the information, uh, RSC connection procedure will happen and uh, uh, connection request setup complete, raw procedure will be happen for the CS and uh, for the PS call and call is established, routing area update, authentication and security procedure for the CS call setup, wrap setup for voice, call processing, connect, connect knowledge, these all things will be happen. Voice is established, voice call is established, PS call is also established. And after call is when call is disconnected, call is disconnected and PS call is released. After ATS command is trigger here, disconnected, call is disconnected here. You will come in idle mode. And after that, you will move in legacy network through legacy network after reading the same 19 information and after moving to the LT network it sends the tracking area update request message tracking area update request message where TALA updating with MC attach TALA updating TA updating actually tracking area update update contains the some information tracking area update which contain the TA TA updating combined TALA updating combined TALA updating with MC attach periodic updating this all type of the tracking area updating so t updating means is used if the ue is only registered with the eps only registered for the ps service then in tracking area update it will send the uh, ta updating but combined ta and la updating value is used if the ue is registered with both eps and non eps services in both CS and PS services, then it will send the combined TA LA updating with MC attach. 
value is used if u is registered for the EPS services but this is also for register for the non EPS services and periodic reporting is used when T3412 timer is expired then it will use the periodic updating so here is TA and LA updating after moving to the LT network because LT is a payphone network so after sending the RRC connection release and, and uh, disconnect CS call is disconnected after release the RRC connection is UMTS network you is moved to the LT network because LT is a payphone network and after that moving to the LT it's in the tracking area update uh, all RRC is established again in LT network and <coughs> uh, and and PS call is continue so and also we have the call flow for the actually this call flow is both CS fallback to UMTS network while U was in idle mode and receive the paging for the empty call and here you also have the call flow uh, this uh, uh, this all the call flow is here in uh, what happened the all CS fallback CS fallback call flow and their I and which uh, important information will be transfer between the UE and E node B. So it will discuss in next video tutorial and also we will discuss over the CS fallback to UMTS network while UE is in connected mode. This is for the idle mode, is for the connected mode and receiving the paging for the empty call. And uh, this is for the empty call and again another two or three video will be make for the MO call. So thanks for the watching the video and please subscribe my video and uh, Thank you.